Welcome, welcome. So here we are. We doing it, baby. We doing it. Studio build out. Ah, this is a dream come true. So what we have here is a 1,200 square foot space here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, I've been looking for spots for the longest. And I actually found one that I feel like will be the perfect place for us to build this thing out. So I wanted to document the whole journey. So here we go. Day one. Me and my boy Matt right there working on, you know, some plans, working on some ideas. So literally, we came up with like, man, we drew out like 15 plans that day. But then outside of that, I still drew like several based on the layout of the rooms and trying to be as economical as possible because I wanted to keep this uh, build out. I really wanted to keep it under five thousand dollars. So that's my goal. Um yeah, initially it was 10,000, but I want to try to keep it under five, which I think we can do. Um, we've got some some friends in high places pulling some strings and we've got some amazing support, uh, support around us and amazing friends. So we want to push, though. We want to keep pushing. So right here, what we did was the first day was we took and knocked down this wall and learning lessons. Right. So we had a plan. We were going to move we were gonna make that a control room right there and we were gonna take and um, basically have the live room on the other side and the control room on the other side so we were gonna turn this into more of like a uh, class area but our plans changed day two so and day three so what we did here was we pulled back the cabinets they were in the back of the studio and we were like these things are human humongous i mean they were like um probably three by uh 14 feet that's how big those cabinets were so we took those out got rid of this crazy network panel that the last tenant put in um he also left all his wiring it was a, it's a mess it's still a mess we're still working on that but that's above the ceiling and um yeah so we we took that down and that was going to be a vocal booth right there but we went with a different plan so our our new plan is a lot better you'll see by the end of the video um where we're going with it so right here just taking off simple you know outlets you know um pulling down doors the, the usual so we had to knock down one two three we knocked down four walls and we've opened up i want to say about six walls and uh that's my boy jamie over there too he's he's helping us out so um these door frames were a pain because it was uh steel um yeah so uh after that we got a chance to start taking out some sheetrock and we just kept this thing moving we got some good momentum flowing um these guys were amazing help they make great music by the way y'all need to follow them uh check out um check out this wall right here so there was there were two rooms in the back they were probably about 100 square feet each and i didn't i didn't want to keep them right there because it was just poor design so um i wanted it to like just build it and when i found out that those were still studs i was like we definitely getting rid of this because it's not the best for the way we're trying to get our walls so to get the best sound you gotta have double studs oh so, you know in some of the future videos i'm gonna show you guys how and why we chose the walls we did so we can get the best sound isolation and um yeah so here we go cutting through some 5 h rock so um day three we working my boy <laughs> i'm silly man my boy dj sir charles went with me the uh, home depot and we uh we got some more work done so you remember i told you i kind of you know didn't have a, a solid plan the first day and was starting to do work because i was so excited to get in there um <laughs> Here I am writing, writing my wrongs. Okay, writing my wrongs. We're going back and fixing everything we we did. I didn't have the, I did no, I didn't have it yet. I was gonna get a framing gun. Oh, I know, my son's talking to me. All right, so, um, but yeah, I didn't have a framing gun, so I just used a hammer because it was it was only a few studs we had to nail in, and then we got our framing gun the next day. So, here we go. Off to the uh to the lows so got all the insulation got all the uh 
wood studs and what else did we get from there i think that was mainly it and then i got some tools yeah that's when we got the frame of gun and all of that so my whole team we we, we build it you know what i'm saying we're cleaning up and getting it right so day four we kept this 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 train going um finished pulling off the nails on the wall getting the, the walls ready for the double studs and also ripping up the floors which i, I wish right bad, bad poor <laughs> poor planning i've never done this before so it's trial and error but i should have put some plastic down on the floor just so i wouldn't have to get more so anyways i'm getting more floors i didn't really like floors anyway so we're gonna get new floors and that's that's just it is what it is so here we are framing out some uh new studs new walls we got um five rooms all together and two bathrooms so it's, it's a really big space so these rooms are about 110 square feet the three rooms and then we have a control room which is about 300 square feet and um the live room is 300 square feet all right so this was a lot of fun this is when we really started get, getting some momentum i actually had uh his name is amari he's the father of one of my students uh uh, Omari, his son, and we, we've been working for what I think I met him at a talent show. So his dad came up to me at the talent show. I was actually a judge at the in, at this talent show in Waxhaw for the school. And, and he was like, yo, man, can you work with my son? I've been hearing a lot about you and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, yeah, man, let's get it. So I, I worked with his son, and now his son is, he's got some amazing music. He's sticking with it. He, he, this is like Joe Jackson for real. So this was a lot of fun. So this drill, we got to put wedge anchors into the studs. So we just drill, I drill into the cement and then um, drop these anchors in and then bolt them down. And that's what holds the studs in place. Yo, it takes so much force to do them. So I've done probably about 30 so far and I got to do at least another, probably 10 more uh, this week. So week one has been a blast. I'm, man, the progress is crazy. So we got so many frames done look at all this like we working y'all it's just week one stay tuned for more much love to everyone that helped out this first week yo we are plowing through this studio so my goal is to to have us have this thing up in the next three weeks we got a dope design for the control room and the live room it's gonna be immaculate and um man we're gonna keep pushing yo this is this is this is gonna be so fire i'm so excited i'm so you don't understand i've been there like every day i'm hype super hype so um with that said if you want to support the movement support the hustle we definitely taking donations i'm about to drop the link below click that link i don't care if you drop five dollars ten dollars like it's all going towards this studio project because as you see we need materials it ain't free but luckily we got awesome su support awesome friends that want to help build this thing so thank y'all again week two will be aired next sunday night 11 p.m if not earlier stay tuned for, for more love y'all peace